this video is going to show you exactly how you embed a audio file. Specifically, we're going to use a site called Anchor um, into your website. Uh, specifically, we're going to use a WordPress website, but generally speaking, if you're able to embed any HTML code on a certain section of your website, then you'll be able to do that. So what you're basically going to do is we're going to choose a specific episode. So um, I'm going to choose this episode and it's going to start playing, but I want to pause it. We are going to click the share button. When you go to the share button, what you can basically be able to do is you can share directly to Twitter or to Facebook or you can send it via email. Uh, but we're going to copy this embed code. You should be able to just click on it and then you're going to right click or you can hold down control C or command C depending on what device you're using. But we're basically going to copy this code into the site. And then from there, what we're going to do is go to the website that we want to embed the code on. And we're going to create a new post. And it's going to be different depending on where you want to post it. But uh, for this example, um, I'm going to embed it directly onto a website. And And what you're going to do is if you're on a WordPress website, you'll probably see the visual. You'll be able to change this mm -hmm. to text. And you can also do that on the pages section. And you're just going to copy and paste it there. Uh, and you can hit publish depending on what site you're using on. The big thing is you want to make sure that you embed this HTML code. Um, so on WordPress, you're going to be able to preview it. And when we preview it, um, it's going to take a little while. But we're going to be able to see this is how the post is going to look. Um, and specifically, once it loads, we'll be able to see exactly how the embed file looks. So uh, you can play around with the actual text, it's the size of it itself. Um, as you see in this embed code, you have the height and then you have the width. So let's just say I wanted it twice the size, 800, and let's just make this 204. Um, as far as the height and the width, and then another small tweak that I'm going to make is I'm going to add in code to center it. So I'm going to put in code at the beginning and an end. And it just centers the text. You don't have to necessarily do that, but something that you sometimes want to do, often you might be able to just go to it and center it from that standpoint as well. Um, but usually the, the, the surefire mm -hmm. way is to put the actual code into the website. So I'm going to preview this. And when I preview this, you should see how it loads. And you see it loads directly into, in the middle. Um, and it's spanned out a lot, a lot across bigger. Um, but you can do that for any section of the website. Um, I'm not going to actually post this or publish this. Um, but you can do that, but that just gives you an idea of exactly how you can embed the podcast episode into your website um, in a lot of different ways. But the big thing is you want to take the HTML code and just copy and paste it and put it directly in. Another thing you can do as well is if you prefer um, to just copy the actual text, you can go to the podcast website. And you can also just link it directly to your blog post. So if you have a blog post here, we're going to click on this one. And this is the direct link. So you're going to copy and paste that specific link directly into the text. Uh, you might have to hyperlink it or it might hyperlink it automatically. Um, so I'm just going to hyperlink it there. So that way, if somebody is on the actual page of the website, um, they can listen to it directly on your website or they can click through and listen to the, the blog post that we have on your website. And just to kind of give you an idea of how that looks as well. And it's just going to take a little while. But you see how this has the direct link that goes directly to your website. So that's basically how you can embed the actual, um, link that goes directly to your website. 
um, or you can actually embed the actual podcast itself directly from Anchor. So if you have any questions or anything, definitely feel free to reach out to me, but I wanted to give you an idea of exactly how you can do that in a step-by-step -step video.